Hello, Jamesy. Well, hello, Jamesy. It's so nice to have you back where you. Nope, no smiles when I'm filming. Nope. Did you just shake your head? No. He's so silly. Good afternoon, friends. We are actually on our way to Arnold Palmer Hospital. For the last couple of weeks, we've noticed this little bump on James's head. Um, we've been to the doctor. She's really not worried about it whatsoever. Um, but for some peace of mind, we're gonna get an ultrasound of it, make sure it's all good. And so our day is starting a little bit earlier than usual. Um, and we'll let you know how it goes. anything on the ultrasound but they did feel it but they just said keep an eye on it which is both relieving and annoying and now we are at Disney Springs so we got an awesome coupon for Earl of Sandwich subway status so that's what we're gonna have for dinner two for ten Did you find a fan? <gasps> That's so fun! James loves fans. And we love Earl of Sandwich. Somebody had pointed out that it would be a good idea for us to get it before we go because it was one of our, it was our first meal when we moved here. So next week, we're probably gonna come here at least one more time. Yeah. Also, if you're not signed up for their coupons, they're really, really good. Just do it online. Just gotta put in your email. We both got the holiday sandwich. Ooh. And chocolate chip cookies. And I got, I don't know what I was thinking, but on a whim I ordered broccoli cheddar soup. This is James's first time listening to Brian Malpass. And the first time we've seen him since March. Woo! Six sets. They had six in stock and I bought all six. Look at this beautiful Disney Springs. What is this lake called again? We looked it up that one time. I think it's like Lake Buena Vista. I think it is Lake Buena Vista. <laughs> like it's Lake Buena Vista. <laughs> also, look at how big our baby is. She's so tired. Look at that ghost riding trailer. <laughs> <laughs> so something cool happened. We often, well we used to often 
We used to frequent Brian Mel Pass's performances at Disney Springs often. Well, often? First, often. How many times <laughs> did I just say often? First time we've seen him since um, his return to Disney Springs. And he was asking for people to like suggest song, song, suggest songs. Can't speak right now. And there was a quiet moment, so I screamed, Change the Room, which is one of his original songs. And he's like, Wait! Someone just requested an original. An original track, so it's like, performing. Really cool. James loved it. He did. We're gonna, we're gonna eat something and go home. You see the tiredness in his eyes? Oh gosh. Alright, I'm about to look this up because I don't think I've seen construction, but the Beatrix signs are still here and we haven't heard that this is on the list that was on the chopping block from like the COVID, the things that didn't make it in COVID. But Sarah and I love Beatrix. It's a Chicago staple. It's kind of weird that it's coming here and it's part of Lettuce Entertainment Group and Sarah and I used to go there after our wedding because we had all this like loyalty money. I don't think we've ever been to Beatrix in Chicago on the vlog. It's cool. Even though I just looked it up on, on this one popped up. It's got a 773 number, even though it says this one, because this one's not open yet. I'm going to BeatrixRestaurants.com to check it out to see if it's open. Because if it is, I'm making the promise right now that we will bring you to Beatrix in Chicago within the first couple of weeks of us living there. Who cares about Gideon's when you got Beatrix? Look at that cookie. So according to this post on January 31st, they were doing Sunday brunch. Join us indoors now available for six guests per table in the in our Fulton Market Igloos and Tents. So that's a, a, one of the locations that, um, in Chicago. We actually haven't been to that location in Chicago, but at least one of them, it seems to be open for indoor in Chicago. And I think the restrictions are getting a little, a little more loose. Let's see, pickups, deliveries. Look at that, delicious, delicious. I don't know about that. Delicious. Beautiful. I may have never shown you this part of Winter Park. This is the public nine hole golf course just after the Park Avenue strip of stores. Really nice, really nice night, really nice during the day. Another water fountain because you know, Florida. Doing five today, go back down to four tomorrow. Feel good. Um, it's just warm enough, but just cool enough. That sounds weird enough for you to understand. Like clearly I'm sweating profusely, but I can do that in the coldest weather. But it's just cool enough when there's like a little bit of a breeze or I turn a corner that it's not overwhelming. But um, got just over two miles left, so I need to stop talking and get back to running. My watch is yelling at me that I've stopped for too long. I'm home from my run and I took a shower. Look at my perfect angel. Check it out, angel one. Oh, our, um, our first embryo, our first M baby isn't on the wall anymore. Mm. I was going to say baby one, baby two, and then show my tattoo, sweet pea, say baby three. But I got all my babies in my heart. Always. He's zonk, man. I want him to wake up and play with me. She missed me in my run. Mm -hmm. She likes when I come home and she looks my sweaty calves. I've been on the phone with my mom, which is nice. So we just finished watching the movie Resistance. It's got uh, Floor Delacour <laughs> from Harry Potter and the guy from Social Media. Social Network. Social Network. Which I've heard he's not like a nice guy in real life. But the movie was really good. It's about the Jewish French resistance in World War II. And what's wild is like one of the characters was the bad guy in the, in the, in the end credits where they were like giving the real life facts of like what ended up happening to some of these people. It, um, they talked about how he died in prison in 1991. I was born in 1991. That's like when it's crazy to think about like 
things like the civil rights movement, when you see black and white photos of Martin Luther King, like, are just perception changing because that makes it feel longer ago or older when it really wasn't. Like, and World War II wasn't that long ago when there was that kind of hate in the world, so be nice. Still that hate. We still got hate in the world. A lot of hate. So, be nice. Um, this is a strange commercial you can hear. Tomorrow, I don't, have we said where we're going tomorrow? No, it's this little boy's one year transfer. So if you didn't know, James is an IVF baby, which means he he's not a... Uh, old, old way of saying this, he was a test tube baby, but they don't use test tubes anymore. They use like petri dishes, so... Anyway, tomorrow is the one year transferversary of them transferring his embryo into Sarah. So, we, we doubled up and said one of our final three like table services that we're doing at Disney World, we also decided to do it tomorrow on that anniversary, which is wild to think that a year ago tomorrow was when we were like, is this transfer gonna work? Is this embryo gonna stick? And is this embryo after it's six gonna make it to birth? And the answer is yes and yes, because we have this baby that coos, and grabs our hands, poops everywhere, and is the best. So we're gonna go to Grand Fleur we're going to go to California Grill and celebrate tomorrow um, after I get off work. We might dip into Magic Kingdom. We'll see. It all depends on timing. It's got to be key. Do um, you guys miss the days of like Magic Kingdom being open until 2 a.m.? Because yeah. those were wild times. Right. Two, two nighttime parades. Two nighttime phantasmics. Come on, Chate Pack. All right, all right. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Today is Tuesday the 10th. Ooh, Tuesday the 9th. Today, oh classic, Mark Twain. Anger is an acid that can do more harm to the vessel in which it is stored than to anything on which it is poured. I get where you're coming from, Mark, but I think in the 21st century, they've figured out a way to store acid in vessels that don't get damaged by the acid. But, if I was a, what's the term, like, textualist or originalist, I dig it. I dig it. I'm gonna sign off. James and Sarah are climbing into bed now. Um, so, a little bit of a, uh, a unconventional vlog for us. Um, I know we've been kind of not talking about that bump because we, we really weren't worried about it, but we got that checked out, so heard it from our pediatrician the other week and heard it from the doctors today that it's nothing to worry about but just keep an eye on it call back if it does anything weird so that's good um disney springs was really fun and i'm glad i went on my five mile run sarah got me four sigmatic coffee for christmas and because of that one some kind of mailing list now so they sent this plant-based protein mix i think i might give that a whirl tomorrow um it's a mushroom based coffee company really good um supposed to be really good for your body. I enjoyed the two different pounds that Sarah got me for Christmas. I flew through them very quickly. But anyway, tomorrow it's Wednesday, hump day, and going to California Girl for dinner. It's good to be hung. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.